I've seen a bunch of folks respond to the concepts mainly laid out in the one D and D 5.5 E D and D in regards to, in opposition to the concept that creatures could be of any alignment. And it basically boils down to this idea that if monsters can be of any alignment, then they're simply going to be reskinned humans. One video I watched on YouTube, at least part of this morning, talked about the fact that they didn't want orcs to have daddy issues that that's what it would be if orcs could be redeemable, whereas in their campaign rules, orcs are irredeemably evil. I think it's missing the boat a lot by coming up with a very simplistic, really very human centric answer to a question that could be really fascinating, which is how are creatures redeemed? If they can be redeemed from evil to good, how does that redemption happen? It doesn't have to happen the way it does for humans. Maybe orcs, don't have daddy issues. Maybe they have some issue that's completely different. And if they can solve that particular issue psychologically, internally, then if they so choose, they could be redeemed. Why don't we think about what that might be? That might be something that's very alien to humans. If you think about in the animal kingdom, let's say a bird that's kicked out of their nest when they could barely learn how to fly and then never sees their parents again, that bird probably evolutionarily speaking, doesn't have daddy issues because they're not involved with their parents. But that bird might have plenty of other issues. And we could explore if we were role playing that game about birds, what those issues might be and what they mean for the evolving identity of this bird. By the same token, orcs, trolls, insert your creature here doesn't need to have the same psychological elements as play that humans do. In fact, it's probably a lot more interesting to think about what are the psychological issues that orcs have. Let's talk about what orcs might have going on or goblins or trolls or anything else. By exploring these options, instead of just waving them off and reducing everything basically to a very simplistic idea of what it means to be redeemed or what it means to have redeeming traits, it becomes kind of a circular argument. Of course, if we give orcs a bunch of human traits, then they'll seem to be human, but we don't have to do that. We can make them redeemable. We can give them some choices, but those choices can still be alien. So let's dig a little bit deeper. They don't have to have human traits and their redemption arcs don't have to be human redemption arcs, but we can still have our other, our strange, our weird, and yet don't have to you to the preset irredeemable alignments if we don't want to. Game on. I'll talk to you later.